Hey, it's Kate from Grow Your Own Joy, and this is just a quick video to show you what we ate the week of March 19th, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so our air fryer was on a shelf and it came flying off and shattered so we're going to try the kasori this time i did not plan on buying a new air fryer so i just saw blue jay acres um try to make some potato wedges like kfc style we're gluten-free, that wasn't quite going to work, and honestly, I don't have the time to go back and look at it, but I will try the actual recipe with gluten-free flour at a later time. All I did was cut potato wedges, put some salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, celery salt on it, and I tossed it in oil and a little bit of rice flour to make it crispy on the outside, and these will go in the new air fryer, and we'll see how it goes. So, we just sauteed this, or rather steamed it in a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan and then tossed it with um, butter and salt and pepper. And it's cooked perfectly. Here's our simple dinner. The asparagus, the steak tips that were marinated in Italian dressing, and the crispy potato wedges. They're actually really good. The only complaint is they needed more salt. So I'm making burrito bowls for dinner. I have these black beans that were in the freezer, this ground beef that was $2.99 on manager special from my deep freezer, and I actually used up what was left in this bag of rice, and now I have um, this one open, and I used up a pepper that needed to go from the fridge, and some onions that were left over from another recipe that were cut up in the fridge. Here, sorry about the steam. I sauteed the ground beef with some onion and some um, red bell pepper and I added some seasonings. I added paprika, cumin, garlic, chili powder, salt, and pepper. And then I added in the frozen black beans. Normally I would do this separate, well actually not necessarily. Sometimes I do it separate and sometimes I put it in. So. Um, that is that mixture and that will go on top of, that will go on top of this rice that I cooked up, cream, guacamole from Trader Joe's, this homemade salsa from Trader Joe's, here are the seasonings that I used, additional, um, in addition to salt and pepper, and the other thing, sometimes we would serve this with like tortilla chips or tortillas, I'm not doing that tonight, um, and then we have some hot sauce. I also just found this jar of sliced pickled jalapenos um, that I had in my little stockpile. So I'm so excited that I can also add these on top of my burrito bowl because I really enjoy these pickled jalapenos. I'm really hungry so I want to eat this but here is my finished burrito bowl. Alright, we're making our own salads and we have these chicken um, like quarters that has been cooked up in the air fryer and... Um, Yep, I'm going to take some of the meat off of this and put it on my salad. Are you just going to eat the piece of chicken with your salad on the side? Yep. Okay. And we just realized we don't have any salad dressing, so we are making salad dressing with oil, vinegar, seasonings, whatever we feel like, and just throwing it on our salads. Here is my salad. It is a... What is this? Like a kale, Brussels sprout, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage mix from Trader Joe's. Cucumbers, chopped tomatoes, chopped red pepper some of the chicken that my husband cooked in the air fryer, and then I topped it with lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of this nutritional yeast. Um, I got this from Thrive Market. I enjoy it, it makes it taste a little bit cheesy. And that will be my dinner. My husband's salad, he has a lettuce mix, um, tomatoes, cucumbers, cheddar cheese, red peppers, and he's going to put balsamic vinaigrette that he made up on top and then he'll have one of these pieces of chicken. So I pulled some pre-made meatballs out of the freezer. I made these back in August. 
I'm going to put them in the air fryer to cook them up quickly. It is Thursday night at 7 p.m. and I decided I don't feel like eating the leftovers in the fridge right now. I will bring them for lunch tomorrow. And then I have this garlic scape pesto that I made last June. It was in my freezer, so I'm going to do that with some of this jovial capellini gluten-free round rice pasta that I had in the pantry. Here's my basic um, pasta with meatballs done in the air fryer, and that's dinner. watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video everyone bye